First thing you have to do, you have to jack the car up. That way it's nicely supported. Then you take your impact and a socket. And when you have special custom wheels, you gotta have a special custom socket. And once you take impact, make sure you got it in reverse. Just rips it right up. Now the reason we're doing this today is because we got to plug a nice sized hole in the tire. Uh, looks like that's probably our leaker. You can see it leaking the air bubbles around it. Next, take your side fitters, pull up, nail up. Take your reamer. Shove it in there. Ream it. Real good. It should take the belt to out. Core tool. Counterclockwise. Pour out. Take your sticky plug and thread it through your other tool. All right, get that halfway through like that. Stick it in the hole. Get it in about that far, turn it, quarter of a turn, pull out. And just trim the excess with your side cutters. Reinstall your valve core. And reinflate to the proper pressure. Pressure, whatever the, the tire is rated for. On these tires, they're about 30 to 32. So we're gonna call that good at 30. And to reinstall your tire after servicing it, make sure to line up your pattern. Reinstall your lug nuts. Sometimes this can be tricky with these awesome wheels to get them lined up. impact and you want to suck them down and then you lower it back to the ground slide your jack out and you always want to set your torque wrench to the proper torque spec I'm gonna say on these vehicles I believe they're between 80 and 85, so I'm gonna set it at 85. And you always turn it till you hear a click. Once it clicks, you have the right torque spec. And you always wanna do a crisscross pattern when tightening the wheel. And then always, after you're done, double check. And that's how you plug your tire.